Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members of the panel. A uh, few questions, Mr. Uh, Drevna. I'm sorry I wasn't here for your testimony, but had a chance to review it. Um, and I, I want to make sure I understand it. You did testify that the best energy policy is one that creates a level playing field. Is that more or less right? Uh, absolutely, sir. Uh, and allows the most cost competitive form of energy uh, to win out. Correct. Okay. And page five in your testimony further stated that uh, NPA, N NPRA members uh, pay billions of dollars in taxes rather than uh, consume billions of dollars in subsidy, taxpayer subsidies, correct? That is correct, sir. So here's the question I have that I think a lot of us struggle with. I want to ask if NPRA would support the removal of several energy uh, subsidies in the tax code, uh, that which some folks would think would provide a level playing field. Uh, and let me just go through these. My understanding is that Section 199 of the Domestic Production Incentive provides a tax rate reduction on refinery income. And that subsidy is, uh, according to the CBO, expected to cost taxpayers about $14.8 billion over 10 years uh, for the oil and gas industry. Would your association uh, support repeal of that tax subsidy as it applies to energy companies? Um, absolutely not, sir. And let me tell you, that the, if, if you recall the genesis of that, of se the Section 199 credit, there was going to be a WTO uh, uh, charge against the United States uh, uh, on uh, the uh, subsidizing unfairly domestic manufacturing, of which refining is, all, all manufacturers, whether you're producing, you know, gasoline or whether you're producing loaves of bread. So the, in the Jobs Act... Okay. In Let me interrupt you for just a second. We'll come back. I only have a few minutes, so I just want to go down some of these. Because what I understand you saying is that you think there's a reason for there, that subsidy to There's a very valid exist. reason for that. So for you that oppose that. repeal. Yeah. Yes, All right. The tax code, as you know, includes a bonus depreciation provision for oil refineries, and it allows refiners to immediately write off 50 percent of the capital cost of certain refinery expansions. Uh, that's a benefit that the CBO estimates will cost taxpayers $3.4 billion over the next five years. Would your association support repeal of that energy tax subsidy? Uh, no, sir. And if you, in the, in the history of that was the uh, EPAC 05 and the negotiations in this in this very uh, room uh, on on the best path forward okay. to, to 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 continue to provide domestic domestic. So you you not only oppose family. repeal but you defend extension. Yes, sir. Uh, finally, I understand that until recently, a tax credit was available for complying with EPA's low sulfur diesel requirements, and an extension of this credit is included in a, sen a pending Senate tax extenders bill, which I'm sure you're aware of, uh, that's estimated to be a $20 million mm -hmm. uh, cost to the taxpayers. Does your association oppose the extension of this energy tax subsidy? Oppose the extension? No, sir. So you like that one, too? Well, again, sir, you know, in, in, in a vacuum, you look at each one of these things and say, what are they? But when you look at the history... Well, no, I, I get it, I, and I appreciate it. You're here doing your job, and you've, you, you have a case to make for why these tax subsidies should be extended to your industry. Uh, and, and you're representing the refiners, and you're, it's your job to look out, help them look out for their viability and bottom line. Obviously, we in Congress, both sides of the aisle, have a broader set of concerns. Uh, the energy policy, policies have to factor in uh, the things you've raised, but also national security, environmental protection, and consumer protection. Uh, so what is one person's subsidy uh, for, is, a, is a competitor's a disadvantage. So the question that uh, I think is begging is whether there's a level playing field when uh, there are taxpayer subsidies uh, that apply to one form of energy uh, but are denied to another form of energy. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.